it is week nine. I cannot believe it. Um, this prep is going by so incredibly fast. I woke up this morning and down to 142.9. So I'm glad to see that two in there again. I've been chasing that for a while now. So I think that this week we might see some scale changes. I think that's, I think I'm definitely feeling that way um, after my refeed last week. Um, and I also checked my ketones this morning and I am way up, way back up. So back into ketosis. Yesterday I was feeling very tired, kind of in a, just a weird way. I can tell when I get a little kicked out of ketosis, like I have a different kind of energy. So even though in the gym I did my leg day and my legs felt strong, like I was doing the lifts, I mentally didn't feel very strong. So I just felt this little bit of fatigue, um, mental fatigue almost even, um, and just not a lot of energy. It was, it was really weird. So um, I think that had a little bit to do with it. Um, I've been doing keto for a year and nine months now, a little bit more than that. And I prefer to be primarily in ketosis because on days when I'm not, I can tell a big difference in my mood. So it's totally normal to go in and out of ketosis, um, even throughout the day. Um, but uh, I know, and I don't like it. So anyways, it is the start of a new week, and I'm feeling very positive again. On Wednesday this week, I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching for some posing. So that is my biggest thing right now. Um, the physique stuff's important, but the posing, that's what I'm most worried about because I need to look confident up on the stage. And because I have three different divisions to learn, um, I really need to get my routines down and um, feel confident in my transitions, which is, is not good. Um, last posing session was great because they made us do posing without a mirror. And I realized I can't do it. I absolutely needed the mirror. I was completely, I stood up there and realized, oh, without the mirror, I actually have almost no idea where my body is. So uh, that's going to be really important too. So they said it's got to be a lot of muscle memory. Um, so you can just hit the poses. When they call it a pose, you should just know where you, what you're doing. So that is why I'm in the beginning, the novice class though. So hopefully everybody else they, up there is going to be just as confused about the posing as I am. <laughs> so uh, let's see, anything else interesting? Oh, today is Memorial Day. I am getting to work super late. I was, I stayed up late last night. I was super excited for the week and just didn't get to bed till late. Um, so I'm getting to work late and I said I wasn't going to do Murph. Today's Memorial Day. Murph is a uh, hero workout that people do on Memorial Day to honor our heroes um, at CrossFit. And I am seriously considering doing it. Um, I told Danny that I wasn't going to do it, um, but I may do it. I don't know. We're just going to see how I feel after work. There's a class at 4.30 and 1 at 5, so it just depends on if I can get off of work in time. So it's going to be 100 pull-ups. So first you run a mile, then it's 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and another mile. But you can... Uh, split it up or do it a partner version or do a half mark. So I have not been to CrossFit in weeks and I miss it. I miss the community. This bodybuilding thing can be a little bit um, lonely. Uh, so I think I am going to try to make it today. So we will see. Okay. Um, I decided to do Murph today, which um, it's Memorial Day, and I actually PR'd Murph. So I can't believe that I did that. Um, 
it felt amazing. I haven't done CrossFit in probably, I think almost six weeks. And I went in, I was, you know, gonna see how it goes. I haven't done a kipping pull up. I haven't done that much volume in a while. I haven't like pushed a run the way I did. And wow, it felt, it felt amazing. So I haven't really done CrossFit since I've lost a, a lot of weight. I've got, I've lost about, I think today, officially I've lost about 15 pounds. So my pull-ups felt amazing. And those were the easy part. It was the push-ups that were hard. Um, I guess those got really sloppy at the end, but you know. So I PR'd by a minute and 41 seconds. So another huge fitness thing that's happened um, on prep. So I am cutting, I am getting stronger, and my endurance was great. I felt awesome. The other cool thing is um, today I feel like I'm fully back into ketosis. So for a couple of days after my carb up and leading up to my, I think before the carb up too, I had a couple of extra carb days. Um, I just started feeling really tired. I didn't have my normal amazing energy I get from being in ketosis. So, you know, the ketogenic diet is amazing for weight loss and, you know, your skin and uh, losing body fat. But for me, the energy and the mental clarity, that that's my favorite thing about it. So uh, I prefer to be in ketosis. And the neat thing is I've been in, I've been ketogenic for about a year and nine months or so and I can easily get back into ketosis. So some of the things that get you into ketosis, it's not necessarily eating a lot of fat, um, it's cutting out carbs and also um, exercising fasted or, or fasting. So what I've been doing lately is kind of a, more of an OMAD, like eating one meal a day or trying to really kind of shorten up my eating window a little bit. So trying to be a little more fasted, doing more fasted workouts too. Um, I do fat fasting mostly, so I still have a little bit of fat during the day and my coffees and stuff. And I wait to have like my protein and carbs until like after I work out. So um, that works for me and I think it can work for a lot of people, but it's not just the diet and stuff that can get you into ketosis. Fasting and exercise can also get you there. So um, anyways, I'm super happy. Um, I was a little concerned about my energy levels and not feeling great. Uh, but today I woke up, measured my ketones. They were way higher. Um, and then doing this workout, um, all I had was I had two like fat coffee with a little bit of um, nut pot in them today, uh, some MCT oil powder, and I haven't uh, eaten anything except for um, at the CrossFit gym, there were some cucumbers marinated in like lime. So we're gonna see, I'm also gonna see, does my stomach go crazy tonight? Cause I just ate a bunch of cucumbers. We're gonna test it out. Cause I've had some problems in the past thinking it was cucumbers, but um, I feel really good, so I don't think it is. Um, if that's the case, then I'm gonna start eating more cucumbers because they're very, very, very low calorie. So anyways, that was amazing. PR'd my Murph.
Okay, it is Wednesday, and I just got done with my first one-on-one -on -one coaching session. Um, God, I'm still all sweaty and gross. Um, for posing with Christian Hernandez over at Genuine Fitness. Oh my gosh, it was so hard. Um, it was really great. We practiced a lot of the posing and stuff, but I realized that there's some strength things that um, I need to work on for posing because half the time, really what's killing me is holding the pose. Like my legs are shaking so bad from trying to squat down and like in the heels and hold like a pose in my legs that I can't concentrate on anything else. So it was a little humbling that I actually have some strength deficits um, in my quads and like holding some of the poses. And um, I've always been such a dynamic athlete, like using momentum, doing CrossFit and stuff. Um, bodybuilding is all about being able to sustain a contraction, to hold the pose. And I don't really have that. So um, this is really good that I'm figuring this out now so I can really focus on strengthening some areas there because I think that if I can feel comfortable in the pose, then um, like if I'm strong enough to hold the pose, that's it, the other thing, then I, I'll improve on my positioning because half the time I can't get into position because I'm just uncomfortable. And he also said I have to start wearing my heels around. Um, I keep practicing posing without the heels on. So we're gonna have another session on Friday and then I am going to go to class on Saturday. So lots and lots of posing practice. I need to work on transitions, um, but really great feedback. Um, I think my physique is still on point. Um, my calories are lower this week, so I am cheating right here this is a uh, miracle rice I'm using miracle rice miracle rice is a it's a shirataki fiber I think that's what it is um, it is technically just basically water and fiber uh, it's a konjac fiber or something um, it could possibly cause some bloating and different things and it's a few carbs in it but it's basically just fiber so i'm counting it as basically zero um i need to talk to danny about this but i need more volume um i've been really hungry lately uh so for me finding ways to make volume in my food is really important i also changed um, the meal plans a bit uh, to give me more volume. So I added some eggs and I'm using a lot of ground beef um, and mixing them together to make my food more substantial. So um, Danny gave me really great guidelines and stuff, but um, I'm just playing with the foods that I, that fit the macros. Uh, the other thing that I am needing right now is my Zevia. I love Zevia sodas so much because I don't know, there's something about the bubbly, fizzy waters and stuff right now that are helping me feel full as well. So I have lots of work to do. Luckily, the weather is getting great. So um, I actually was able to get my butt up in the morning to get my workout in and I'm loving that. So that'll be good because I get really tired by the afternoon. And tomorrow I am getting an in-body. So we're gonna see what has happened with my body fat percentage. I just realized that I actually had not done a little video about my in-body results. So um, I would like to share that with you. Um, 
the in body is not the perfect measurement, but it is a really good way to track your progress. And I'm going to be comparing it to the bod pod, and I'm also gonna get some uh, caliper pinch test done with my trainer very soon. So, uh, two months ago, I got this test done, and I have officially lost 15 pounds since then. On the day that I got this done, it said I had only lost 10, um, but I had a big spike in my weight because I had eaten Miracle Rice uh, for a couple days, which really bloated me. Um, so, two months ago, I was 157.6 pounds, and on this test, I was 147.8. Um, my lean, uh, my skeletal muscle mass stayed almost exactly the same, 74.1 pounds down, it's 73.9, which is basically the same. But my body fat mass went down literally 10 pounds, 26.4 to 16, um, which is awesome. Uh, basically, I lost 10 pounds of fat, um, which took me from 16.8% body fat down to 10.8. Now, I know that I'm probably not actually 10.8%, but I did actually lose my period this month. Um, I've had a perfect period for um, several months ever since I took my IED out in February. I wanted to make sure I could track that while I was um, on prep. So I've had a perfect period on the dot, no problems whatsoever. And this, literally this month, I was like, I feel really lean. I mean, I can tell a difference everywhere and I lost my period. So I'm thinking that I definitely am very low. Um, the cool thing is that I will be able to track that. So it's pretty normal when you get down really low body fat percentage when you're doing a cut that you could lose your period. So I did this so that I could track it. So when I reverse diet back up, when I put muscle mass back on, I get to a more sustainable weight. I'm going to watch for whether my period comes back and my hormones are um, balanced. So that is one of the reasons I think it's really important not to be on birth control during this kind of thing. Uh, I don't think you should be on birth control anyways. I think there's some really bad stuff out there. I mean, everybody, if you need to be on birth control, be on birth control, that's fine. But if there is a, a way you can not be on it hormonally, I think it's better for you. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there. I'm not gonna get on a soapbox about that, but I just found this out and I've been feeling great ever since I got off of it. So let's see. The other really cool thing is I actually put on lean muscle in all four of my extremities, just a little bit. So I actually put on almost half a pound in each leg, which is super cool. So, all right, so this next week, I will have my bod pod results and I am thinking about getting a caliper test done if I can. If I can get it timed correctly to get the calipers done this week, I will also do that. Um, but my trainer is not going to be around um, later in the week, so I might actually have it done maybe the week after. But for sure, I'm getting bod pod results this week.